rescue squad. Well, it's Friday and we're on the uh, river again to the lures. It's crazy how quickly the level of water drops. As soon as it rises, as soon as it's dropped, when, once the rain stops, mental. So it's fishable, highly fishable today. We're on the other side at Weir. I'll just spin you around at Weir today. But look at that. Once you start seeing them boulders, for me, it's fishable on here. And the, the water clarity, despite all the rain, I don't know if you can see my lure on the surface there, it's still quite clear, which I'm surprised. It does have a bit of a brown tinge to it, where it's coming down what falls, but it's uh, clean. So, hopefully we catch something. Let's have a few casts, and then uh, see if some fish turn up. A bit just see what impact that rain has, whether it's better or worse. I've had about 10 casts so far, I had anything. But you know, things can change quickly, as we found out on this venue before. So, let's crack on and get some fishing done. Same set as the other day. It's a MEP spinner, apparently they're called. You can search them on Amazon. The class is trout spinners, not that it makes a difference because we still catch every, every, every predatory fish going. Well, that's what they advertised as. So that's what we're using. Fluorocarbon leader, 15 pound mainline, on a 40 gram rod. It's a 2000 size reel. So that's the setup. We've been over it before, but I decided to go over it again. We've also got some more lures in here which we'll be trying. Maybe it's take us on. It's a new, a new pack of them spinners. We've got various other bits in there though as well, as you can see. But we'll just see what see what happens. We we'll get a fish. We'll see what colour starts to keep fish up basically. I'm quite happy with that one to put a lot of fish on it, so we'll have a few more casts, see what, see if we can get something out. Out on that peg, so we've moved. So we've seen someone on the other side catch a, a pike a minute ago. Um, about three or four pound. Same guy as last week, I think. So, so it goes on here. I hooked a pike in winter on here and it got off. Well, I, should I say, grab my lure. Give a bit of a pull. I, couldn't, I, just, I just couldn't strike up into it because I didn't have a treble look on. So, we'll have a few casts off here and see how it goes. <laughs> It's always nice to get off the mark with the first fish of the day. Nice take. Really, we've had to come down onto this other peg out of flow. I think it's made a difference straight away. Look at, honestly, the quality of these fish is absolutely immense. You've seen colours on him and how clean he is and how, you know, that is a beautiful little fish. So, yeah, I'm happy with that, so we'll keep having a few more casts see if we can get some more. We know they're here now. Nice one, right. Again, had a good hour and a half at the first mark. One perch. It's not enough, is it, really? So, we're moving. I've just fell, actually. We're back at prison now. Um, I went down into one of the pegs. I was looking at them falling to the river. Uh, I went down the bank, took one step on the peg, and it was that slippy the mud. I barely even put any weight on my footstep and I were gone. I can't hurt myself or anything. Um, it's just dangerous, so yeah. It's just one of them things in it, I guess. Can happen. So I ain't got suitable footwear on really for doing this today. You need wellies on. I never slipped <laughs> never slipped over my wellies on. 
So we're going to use the same methods. Uh, I'm just coming, I'll just spin you around, just wait there. We're coming on to the prison stretch here. <laughs> no, no, that's good, isn't it? no eat fish. <laughs> hey, so we're going to fish off these first couple of pegs, they look very fishy. I don't know if you can see all the lilies and stuff. So, bags on the first peg. No, no. <laughs> so we're just going to fish off these first couple of pegs above. Uh, like weird thing, whatever it is, further downstream from where we were, wherever it's all before. I don't know how snaggy it is, but it looks fishy. Might, might, yeah. Just got a few casts in amongst everything. Yeah, you can have this one. So, we'll see what happens. Perch on, he's definitely a PB if we get him in, he's just going to come into it now, hopefully. It's a big perch fight, a bit better than small ones, is right? This is a PB, 110% of PB perch, this. No doubt about it. Just get that mat, will you, please? Sorry. Definitely my PB perch this, it's got to be a pound and a half, two pound, I'm giving it two pound. Look at the size of that bad boy. Wow. Let's just have a look at his, how he's been up. I don't think he's been up that particularly well. Oh, the rod's stuck in the air. Um, well, he's up, he's up by there. Oh, actually, he's in those places, I think. Look well, we move spots. If that don't give us both a bit of confidence, I don't know what will. Yeah, it's, uh, it's only up to one at trebles, though, so it should, shouldn't be a problem getting it out. Oh, it's come right down, why need forceps? Just uh, having a look, guys, at what? Nearly out. Nearly out. It's, it's not actually up, it's like in his gill cavity. Took her down and up and out. What a fish, get me, make sure you get me in clout. What a fish guys, what a fish, what a fish, eh? Look at him, that is a, that he is a beast. So I've done my PB pike, my PB perch on space for a week about. So we're gonna just, obviously he's been out of water for a few seconds, a few minutes, a couple of minutes. So I'm gonna put him in margin, get this going. I'm gonna put him in margin just to make sure that he recovers. Yeah, we want him to come back, don't we? In best condition. He's looking a little bit stunned, but he's coming round. He's coming round. Yeah, he's about ready to go now. You've got to give him that bit of time. Fish at this, in all, all conditions, you've got to give him time, obviously. But it, it, a bit more difficult to one up than I'd liked. But he's going to go back. He's ready to go, I just can't get my net inside out. There you go. Off he goes. Boys. Slowly mooching off anyway. I think we're right, take that. Well happy with that, guys. Well happy. We're worth changing. I was thinking about moving because there's a lot of snags to fish up against. Obviously, that's where the fish are. But I was just a bit annoyed. I'm to fish as close to snags. I changed my lure because the sun's come out. Put a shiny one on. It's got a great good emotion to it. And it looks. It just looks like a fish head going through water, basically. The sun shines on it, but it looks like it's a full fish. But the head bit's shiny, if you know what I mean. When it's coming through the water, you'd think it were a six inch long fish. It's weird. It's got a right good motor to it. So we're going to have another go anyway, see if we can get something else out. Fish, whee! Not blanking. Yeet. Just, uh, just be careful. Just, just, that's it. Just wiggle, wiggle it out then. Let me do it. You're holding on to them tight enough, yeah? Yeah, I've got him. Right, well. Right. There yeah. you go. That's little perchy, get in. You see it take it? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, okay. I'll stay here then. <laughs> oh, that's not bad, is it? You're just happy you've caught a fish, aren't you, now? Because <laughs> I, okay. I keep beating it. It's like painful for me sometimes. I just wanted to catch a fish. It's like when I went pike fishing with Jay, when he kept catching up fish, when he wanted me to get a fish. No, but, yeah. but it just seems like we've dropped on something here, don't it? Get amongst the snags. You can pull it, you can fish quite close to them, even with spinners, can't you? It's surprising. 
they're here that's the main thing so we're going to keep keep at it and uh, hopefully we'll get some more nice one i think that'll be it for today a couple hours out a couple of fish it's not been too bad i'm happy with the perch obviously you don't really i don't know if, if it looks better on video i've just screenshot at the video uh screenshot shot of the video clip of it <laughs> it looks tiny the fish well after just catching loads and loads of fish that are the size of your hands it's nice to get one that bent rod you know loads of perch that are the size of your hands it's nice to get one that bent rod around anyway that's it so we're gonna get off um other than that keep safe tight lines have a good one thank you very much Thank you.